All right, everyone, welcome to this weekend Sidereal Astrology Forecast. This is going to be for January 1st through the 3rd, 2016. My name is Athen, and this is for Sidereal Astrology. If you are new to this type of astrology, do check the description down below. All right, so this weekend is pretty straightforward in the astrology. Uh, as you can see here in the transit graph, we don't have any major aspects uh, going on this weekend other than Mercury still squaring up to Mars, and that's going to be going into next week as well. So the key with this one is that Mercury is slowing down. He's about to go retrograde next week, very early in fact, starting on Monday. So we'll probably start to feel that slowing down energy as we go through the weekend. So this is specifically involving our communications, involving our mind, our thinking patterns. It's a very reflective time, at least an important time to have that reflection and uh, to make sure we're double checking things. Usually the things we take for granted uh, during a Mercury direct, we start to become more aware of uh, during a Mercury retrograde. So it's very important that we, um, you know, things we normally take for granted on a daily level, whether it's the correspondence or the routine or the time management, energy management, whatever it is, to bring that extra attention to that uh, during the retrograde. So as we approach that, we're pro we'll probably start to feel that slowing down of energy. And um, that's a good time to kind of pause for a second and bring that extra attention to those areas. Now, in regards to Mars, because this aspect is involved with this retrograde, it is important to have that patience. You know, any square up to Mars, usually we want to go through the gates. We want to have that energy. We want to plow through things. And this might be specifically relating to the routine or anything involving that self-improvement. And I say that because Mars is in Virgo. So there's a lot of this analytical energy, a lot of us trying to take care of things or put things forward in regards to that analyzing. Okay, but this isn't the best position for Mars to be in. It's an Earth sign, so it's very slow, very clunky at times. So it does take that extra attention. And in that way, like I've been saying this whole week, it is very constructive when we do bring that extra attention to our actions as well as to that uh, communication or correspondence or stuff on that daily level. So within that context, we do have a, a, quite a few as usual, but actually not that many lunar aspects. Um, and this is going to be a moon in Virgo all week long. So it's a great weekend for that self-improvement, that diet, health, routine, that analytical energy, anything in regards to that. But finding the middle path, you know, it's always important with the moon not to go to any over or under extremes with it, over analyzing, over perfectionism, that kind of thing, or maybe not enough self-awareness, not enough self-improvement. So finding that middle road with that. And uh, it's a great weekend for anything involving that improvement that could be through our work, it could be through self-improvement or what have you. Now, this is in regards to the third quarter phase of this last lunar cycle of healing. And we're going to be approaching this new moon in Sagittarius in the next week. So uh, we are still finishing up those this whole past three weeks in regards to learning more about ourselves on that deeper level, doing that healing. And in this third quarter phase, it's a good time to apply that, especially again when it is about that self-improvement. All right, so within that general context, these uh, more specific aspects on Friday, we do have the moon sextiling up to Venus. So here, uh, an opening, maybe with relationships, maybe enjoying the simple pleasures of things. Uh, this is a Venus that is slowly and has been uh, getting more deeper, you know, especially with our values. Uh, this has been a Venus in Scorpio. So when it comes to our values, really connecting to them because they're really meaningful to us, really opening up, having that transparency, vulnerability in relationships, I think can be very supportive here on Friday. Then as we get closer to the end of Friday, we are in that third quarter phase exact with the sun squaring up to moon. So again, action, patience, that kind of thing is important. And perhaps resilience with the moon sextiling up to Saturn and a good emotional reserve perhaps. Now on Saturday, it's more to do with this Uranus-Pluto square energy. The moon will be aspecting up to both of these planets in this T-square. So uh, the key with this is to have that you know, extra attention with change, to be open to change. And again, watch any extremes. I think a balance will be very important here on Saturday in particular, especially if we're feeling any type of impulse, any type of wanting to break free, which is that opposition up to Uranus or maybe intensity. You know, it's good to feel that. It's good to listen to that and take it nice and slow. This is very similar to the very transformative energies we've been feeling over the past three years. Now, of course, Pluto and Uranus are no longer in their exact square position, but um, the moon will be activating that here on Saturday, but nothing new in that regards. Now on Sunday, with the moon still in Virgo, uh, it's gonna be activating that Mercury square up to Mars. The moon will be going over Mars, so I think there is that 
awareness and a good day for that active energy, uh, self-confidence, things like that. Again, pursuing maybe some of the self-improvement stuff in Virgo, but bringing that extra attention, especially because Mercury will be almost stationed at that point uh, to the correspondence, to the communications and our thinking patterns. All right. So hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys all on Monday. Take care.